Well, it's been called one of the most haunted locations in the country. We've heard the stories of Bobby Mackey's Music World right here in Cincinnati and Wilder. And this weekend, paranormal celebrity Brian J. Cano joining me, and he is talking about the hauntings going on there at Bobby Mackey's. And you're going to get to the bottom of it, right, Brian? I'm going to attempt to get to the bottom of it. Yeah. Uh, well, anything paranormal, uh, it's, it's hard to, to get a definitive answer, but we keep trying to collect data to try to maybe solve some of the mysteries about ghosts and hauntings. Now, you, know, you, you look back uh, you know, over, over the years, you know, technology, things change you know, in our everyday lives. How have you know, studying and investigating paranormal activity changed over the last several years since you started? Oh, well, I've been doing this for 14 years, and back then, when, oh, back then, yeah. in 2002, we would use uh, devices that were repurposed from other things like um, EMF detectors that were used by electricians or construction workers. Okay. Now, there are devices built specifically for paranormal investigating, and this is a, this is a very exciting time because yeah. we can actually take a device and, and collect data specific for what we're doing and know that we're not misusing the equipment. Well, let's talk specifically about Bobby Mackey's because it's been featured on shows over the years, mm -hmm. but this is only the second time that, you know, somebody like yourself has come in and really dived into it. The stories that we hear are... Oh, I, it, it's funny. I try to go in completely neutral. Really? I don't want to get any preconceived notion about what's happening there because then I'll find myself looking specifically for those things. And with a place that has such rich history, yeah. like Bobby Mackey's, I want to be open to the entire scope. But there have been some pretty heavy claims at that place, so I'm, I'm going to be looking into that very carefully. So now you, we can come, and I mean, you're going to do this live in front of us. Um, Anticipate, what do you anticipate things? What, what if you find nothing? Then is it like a two minute show and you're out there? <laughs> <laughs> like what? Hey, well, you know, the, the thing with the You start telling bad jokes like that one. Right? I, well, I do, yeah. I, I, I tell bad jokes all the time. But for me, uh, I always tell someone, the paranormal does not act on cue. Uh, for instance, okay, I have free will. Today I'm here in Cincinnati, but yeah. if you went to my door right now, knocked on the door and I don't answer, that doesn't mean I don't exist. Mm. I just, I choose to be here today. Yeah. So when I go to Bobby Mackey's, if it's quiet, we're gonna have a good time. Uh, and, and the reason I call my tour The Method is because I want to teach people the proper way to investigate. So whether you're a paranormal enthusiast or you don't know anything about it, you'll leave maybe with some questions yeah. and you'll think about it. Well, and there, and there is a, a, such a science behind it. Do movies like uh, Ghostbusters that came out right now, right? <laughs> it, does, it, does it help the profession or does it, you know, does it make a, a mockery of it? Or I know you were an extra in the film. Right, right. It, it's, it's an ironic thing because uh, I was inspired by Ghostbusters. Yeah. I was 10 years old when the original movie came out and I looked and I said, Oh my, wow, this is great. I could I could do this. Yeah. And it was one of the first movies of its type, even though it was a comedy, it came at it that says, We're ready to believe you, mm -hmm. and they used tech. They used gadgets to Absolutely. do their job. And that's what I do. I'm I'm the gadget guy. Yeah. So um in the new movie, Ghostbusters, they point to the reality television shows and they said, oh, this is making it hard for us to do our jobs, which I think is kind of funny. Yeah, a little bit there. My last 30 seconds here. So like, you know, ghosts like slime are, that, are the majority. I mean, should we be afraid of the paranormal? If, if you're hearing sounds at your house or you think you're seeing people or somebody's speaking to you, uh, are they here to hurt us or? No, just, if there's something you know. strange in your neighborhood, uh, it's okay. It's perfectly yeah. natural. It's just part of uh, our universe, and uh, I'm just trying to find out exactly how, it, how it's made up. Something strange in the neighborhood. Who are you going to call? Brian Cano. Right there. Very good. Nice to meet you, man. Thank you, Frank. Thank you. And again, uh, the show is on the 24th. Yes, uh, July 24th from uh, 4 to 2 a.m. You can get tickets at neverstopsearching.com. And it's the method at Bobby Mackey's. Thanks, bud. It's good Thank to you. see you. Nice to, to meet you.